my ass is raw you ever really? like take why a is sh- your ass raw you ever not because of bottoming fun stuff like you ever like take a shit you don't wipe good enough no but i've taken multiple shits in the morning to the point that my ass gets raw because that too. i'm lactose intolerant that too but i went to the gym i did leg day i don't think i wiped but enough my butthole is chapped so suddenly you're a straight man today we're, we're straight manning why because straight men don't like wipe their ass right or something, right? They, they don't, don't clean their ass I was right in or some a rush. shit. You know what the gross part is? Someone out there would still eat my ass. Someone out there would. Yeah, and you're in the right city to do that. <laughs> <laughs> somebody, you'll find somebody going grind okay. and be like, uh, dirty ass. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, hello. 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 Hi! Hi! Welcome, welcome to Messy Pod episode 30, season 3. It's episode 30? Yes, you know, we got an email on Friday and someone called me hot. Was I in the video? We got an email. They, they complimented both of us, but I just want to. I, want, I just want to point out they call me hot. Read the read the email. I, no, I don't know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe it. Proof. Yes, we got it. And they color coded and everything. We could post that they, on Instagram. They they call me hot, and they said they related to both of us in different ways, our traumas and our triumphs, <laughs> and they went into detail about it. But they call me hot. So I love that. <laughs> that's all I care about. <laughs> They were like 40 or something. It's like a 40, 40, 40 year old man that called me hot. So how do you feel? I feel hot. <laughs> What's new? In this cold ass apartment. In this cold ass apartment. We're That's back in I'm my apartment steaming. today. We're back in Mike's apartment today, mainly because he made an entire picture of jungle. Literally because you made an entire picture a of jungle water juice. water cooler. Not an a entire, picture. An entire Don't water diminish. cooler of jungle juice. And I literally text you saying I'm coming over. Mm-hmm. And now we're here filming a podcast. Give me a review. If you guys want to see it, I just I put out my YouTube channel. The whole thing was filling a water cooler with jungle juice because I'm an adult. And it's strong. It's an adult jungle juice. It is not some college shit. No. No. It is it is some like legit like I get this at WeHo. Do we you I it's it's strong, but I don't like it's I know it's strong, but I don't really like taste alcohol. Like I could chug this. It's like it's I can taste like the like like I know there's alcohol in it, but I don't know what kind of alcohol is in it. I okay. just taste that little ha at the end, you know? So you want me to tell you? Because sure. I'm tired of seeing these fucking kids and these I'm schmacked videos. Like they know what they're fucking doing. Because <laughs> I will say, we're going to get into it. It's it's when you mix overly sugar liquors with mm-hmm. over sugar alcohols with over sugar juices and throwing candy. It makes no sense. <laughs> it makes no sense. It's just going to cancel each other out. And it really, it fucking, it gives me like ajina. Yeah. Ajina? Ajida. Ajida? Ajida. Like heart palpitations. Ajida? Oh. It's like a talent. SAT word. <laughs> <laughs> the full throwback from last week's video. But, um, I'm sorry, I'm hitting the bottom of the mic. But, um, no, this is basically just like, this has more in it. And it's going to give you less of a hangover. It's, and it's going to get you more fucked up, though. What's yes, that? Science. Yes, great. It's a handle of vodka. Okay. A handle of rum. Okay. A handle of gym. Okay. When you mean handle, you mean like the whole bottle? Yes, but okay. a big bottle. Not just like a normal bitch bottle. Like one of those big bottles. Like Costco brand? Yeah, sure. <laughs> It's a handle. Okay. It's a handle of vodka, handle of rum, handle of gin, two bottles of tequila because they didn't have a big enough bottle. They didn't have okay. A okay. A bottle of triple sec, two bottles of champagne, and then I think two or three bottles of juice and a liter of soda water. Of juice. Jesus Christ, With Citrus Mike. juices, and that's why you don't so really taste it. So you're trying to get it. me fucked up. You got yourself fucked up. You're the one who wanted to come I here. I am ready. I am ready. <laughs> <laughs> But no, I think that's why tonight you came up with this idea. We're going to have like a drinking cast. We're going to have a drinking cast. We talk about drinking because we always talk about drinking, but I don't think we ever had an episode where we just talk about drinking. Yeah, because it's my whole YouTube channel. <laughs> it's literally oh, all Here we I go. Do. There we go. Boom. I know. At the end, you know, so let's do our normal talking at the end. Since I always quiz you, I found like a link that's like a hundred alcohol trivia questions. Mm-hmm. So Max is going to ask me to see if I actually know what the fuck I'm talking about, which I'm going to give you guys a spoiler. I don't. Is Mike real or is he just another no. TikTok wannabe? <laughs> Why am I from TikTok? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? You're doing the alcohol content on TikTok. TikTok to me is nothing but another marketing platform from the shit for the shit I actually care about. And it's my biggest <laughs> platform and it pisses me off i hate it 
I absolutely hate it. Anyway, how was your week? <laughs> um, a week's been okay. It's been weird. I don't know. I've just been working. <laughs> I felt weird. Why? I think because last week I was so busy. I uploaded three videos last week, and I, I had know. them all in one sitting. You were basically. Stressed. I was stressed, and so like going from that week to this week where I'm not really doing much, but like just dealing with people's emails. It's Got kind it. of a weird transition. I feel weird. I feel like I'm, I should be doing more now because is, I did a lot last week. <laughs> is Mercury in like retrograde? Because I'm also exhausted for no reason. No well, reason. We're both exhausted. COVID. Maybe. There it is. There it if is. If we have COVID, could we quarantine together? Ow. Maybe then no. we can. Why? <laughs> because we did that. No. We could both. Why? You, you want to spend days with me on pond days? Oh, God. We'll kill each other. <laughs> if you think about it, I'm a lot like alcohol. Like Mike in moderation, just like alcohol. You can't have a lot of me at once. <laughs> it's going to be a lot. It's going to be too much. Do you ever wake up tired? Yes, all the time. I wake up tired and I stay tired all day. I'm like, everyone, I hate when someone goes, tired from what? Life. Life. Life? <laughs> like, I'm exhausted. If you think about what we do, it's really not that much. But I'm always tired. I'm always tired. Am I sick? I don't know. It might be because we stare at screens for a living. And I think apparently staring at screens ruins your shit. I don't know. But people do that every day and go to an office. Like people go to work. People have to clock in at a certain time. True. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> but wait. Oh, thank you. But I'm ex- like, literally I had to drag myself around today because I'm do- I do this even harder workouts now because I'm bulking. I don't know if you've noticed. I've gained 20 pounds. Yes, I've seen your tweets. I've gained 20 pounds. Are you happy about home. it? I am. I mean, I'm, I feel like I look fuller. You look the same as when you came back. I don't Shit. see the difference. I'm 20 pounds. When I came back, I was 195. Now I'm 217. I'm over 20 pounds. Wow. I mean, that's good, right? That's I'm, healthy. You're going to get those muscles. I'm uh, eating like a fucking monster. Do you want to know what I'm eating? What? And I'll, here, I'll, t- I'll tell you my diet. Don't you dare be like, I'm eating a whole bowl of spaghetti. Fuck you. No. <laughs> no. Some bullshit. Uh, I'm eating one cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> a whole cheeseburger. <laughs> no. No. Bitch. I'm actually eating like a shit ton. Like, it's, okay. It's, okay. So daily, I have two hot pockets. You don't even eat. You don't even eat breakfast. You don't even eat at all. I have to remind you. I, I've been eating. Don't spill my beans. Like, What that. time did you eat today? What time did you eat for the first time today? Did you have breakfast? Yes or no? Next question. Okay. <laughs> Next about. question. So. 2.30, but whatever. <laughs> Shut up. Next question. Were you editing or were you just doing math? I was streaming. In this morning? The, yeah. Yeah. No, you weren't. You're a liar. I was streaming. Not this morning when you first woke up. Oh, no. How's streaming going? It's going cute. I enjoy it. Are you it's doing cute. it every week? Uh, yeah, I try to do it every week. I do it whenever, basically. Whenever I have time. That's the reason why I did it on membership, because I couldn't Stick commit to, to a Twitch show. Yeah. Was, my membership's like, yeah, you're going to give me whenever I can. I do it like at least multiple times a week now. I skipped I, last week altogether. But yeah. I try to do it every week on my schedule, but like, it's only I've only had like three out, and I've already missed two weeks. Just because of family shit. Yeah. Because of family shit. I'm busy. All right. Life goes on. Get over it. I lost my whole ass. Ooh, did you? Yes. In my last video, I blurred out the butt, not because it was showing, just because, because it, it looks small. <laughs> You're so ridiculous. I hate it's you. It's really small. And I, I was, hate I was you. embarrassed about it. Oh I'm known God. for my ass. Oh, my God. I am known for oh my, my ass. No, it's... I'm known for my ass. I am. Okay, you show it on national TV once, and suddenly it's your entire brand. I'm... Okay, my ass is my brand. My dick is reputation. <laughs> so. Okay, Taylor Swift. Um, <laughs> Florida. Ooh, that's nice. What the fuck? What, what the fuck? fuck? What the fuck? Florida. What the fuck? 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 If it's another man on meth. No. It's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. No, I'm not picture? gonna read the article. I'm kind of gonna just like um, superpose it. But this is the title. I can't do it. It's kind of sad. I can't do it. Florida woman tells couple after trying to give son away. Meth. 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 Yes. Meth. So this is basically meth. what happened. No. Why are they all on meth? It's Florida. Um, <laughs> Florida's so on is, meth. This is basically the rundown. A couple walked out of a restaurant. Okay. And this woman randomly approached them, 
Okay. Holding her two-year-old baby. Oh, my God. And just told him, I can't do it. Put the baby on the floor and then drove away. Meth. As, these cu- as this couple just randomly walked out of a restaurant. A random couple walking out of a restaurant. She just left the baby to them and, and drove away. And she got arrested for... Child what abandonment? What is it called? Yeah, but it's called something specific. Child abandonment. Unlawful desertion. Because you can, you can desert your child in front of like a... Um, Pol- uh, like a fire station? Fire station, but you can't just do it in a random parking lot in front of a restaurant, in front of a, t- a random couple. Yeah. So, yeah, it was, it was like a prom night dumpster baby, but like missed by two years. And resisting arrest. She was arrested for So apparently a scuffle happened when they tried to arrest her. Yeah. Uh, meth. Meth. Um, but that's absolutely insane. And I, that's absolutely sad. And I wish that child the best. The child is now in custody with the, with the state, but... Fuck. That's that's you know that's that's a moment. I'm, they're pro- I mean they're two year they're two years old so they're not going to remember it. But I wonder if anyone's going to tell them. Like that's how. Probably. I mean, there's a news. Left. There's a news. Yeah, there's a news about article it. and all that stuff. But like that's <laughs> insane. But I wonder at what age like the, the adoptive parents are going to tell them. You know what I mean? And they've been there for two two years. They're two year old. No, they they were a two year old when the woman dropped them off. When was this parking lot? This happened. I don't fucking know. <laughs> so this isn't it is current. a random article. You, it's not current. What do you, it's a, can I ask you a question? It's 2017. It's a random article I just found. I that's what I just type in weird Florida news and I search and I just click on whatever I find. That's that's what what the fuck Florida is. So, some of them are current. <laughs> some of them aren't. The so, last one was current, but this one wasn't. Is, is the requirement they have to have a meth picture? <laughs> <laughs> No, not a meth picture. I try to find the kookiest story. That's mainly what I try to do. There was also another story. I think this one's more recent of a random man, of a seven-year-old in Florida. He ran out into a playground and body slammed a kid because they were being too noisy at 6 p.m. on a Saturday. <laughs> what? Me leaving the Abbey. I'm yeah, and all morning. the comments were like, this is probably a sign of dementia. Because how would this man live right next to a playground and then complain that kids are being noisy in it? I think we need to ban <laughs> playgrounds, though. Why? Because people are having sex in it? Yes. Did we talk? Did I tell you about this <laughs> yes, already? Yes, we talked about it. I did? <laughs> yesterday, yes. Oh, yesterday. <laughs> Last week. We Last did. Last week's podcast I just wanted to make sure. an entire section about it. <laughs> that was that, no, that had to be a public announcement because it's nasty. <laughs> That's nasty as hell. At least we should start, like, gating up playgrounds, basically. Because people be crazy. You can you know? find your way in. If it's gated, you're just inviting people to try harder to get in. True. That's true. You know they're going to get in. Whatever. But that is What the Fuck Florida. Gay agenda? Yeah. Guys, also, don't forget, send us What the Fuck Florida. If you're from Florida. Yeah, if you're from Florida yeah. and you have stories about things you experience or articles that you know of, send them to me. Yeah. Because I'm just doing this by myself. And it's fun. It's fun scrolling through these weird ass <laughs> articles about Florida. But there's probably I an love, app. I love some fun, sh- funny shit from People that are actually in Florida. I bet you anything there's a fucking app that's just like fucked up Florida news. Fucked up Florida news. <laughs> if it's not, it should be. Someone out there get to developing. You could have it. It's fine. Oh, uh, it's so weird. Um, but gay agenda with Matt. <laughs> yep. Yeah, sure. But yeah. that was weak as hell. Oh, no. Three, two, one. Gay, gay agenda with Matt. Matt. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? That's it's gay. another more RuPaul news. <laughs> um, oh, RuPaul yeah. just won an Emmy. Get it for RuPaul's Drag Race and is now the yeah. What is it called? What 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 is it? The person of color. He African has, American. He has, he has the most Emmys for any. I think person of color in general, but I think it might just be African American. I'm not sure because the articles flip back and forth. Some people just don't know. Got it. Uh, you know. So apparently he's like he has the most. I'm just gonna say for a black person, he has the most Emmys for a black person in Emmy history because of winning the Emmy for RuPaul's Drag Race this past. I think he also won best host again. I'm not even sure. I think that's amazing. I know but they also, went for casting. I think they win for casting. They win for host. They win for the show. And I think this is like what the fourth year in a row they've won best unscripted competition series for the Emmys. It's kind of getting boring, sis. Let's, let's think of something else. <laughs> do, you think, do, you, do you think they're throwing it in for the diversity? Um, maybe, but also the shows really. I mean, the other shows that are nominated against it all the time are better. Don't no, they don't offer the level of like, I guess, psychological drama that RuPaul's Drag Race offers or like the level of like, you know, they, they let the drag queens tell their stories. The vulnerability that RuPaul's Drag Race offers compared to all these other competition shows that are nominated for Emmys, I think that's the reason why it always wins. And also probably diversity too. Lindsay but. Lohan's Beach Club was so close. <laughs> So close. so close. So close that year. It was so close that year. We almost had them, guys. We almost, we almost them. had them. But damn, RuPaul. <laughs> I don't want to 
want to talk about. I think um, whatever. Because other nominees were like nailed it and like Top Chef and all that stuff. Can we? You know Nicole Byer, right? Nicole Byer, yeah. Nicole, honestly, in my mind, if RuPaul doesn't win one year for Best House, Nicole Byer should get it. Absolutely. Yeah. Can we? Can we apply to do nailed it? <laughs> We would no. We would be so That'd good be for that show. I think it would be hysterical. If they ever do a double trouble season again, we definitely should go in it would together. Be hysterical. <laughs> That's so funny. I want to be on Nicole Potter's podcast. You could. She's hysterical. Her, her, her podcast is hilarious. I know you talk to me about it all the time. It's absolutely hilarious. I love it. It's like the only podcast I listen to. Really? Mm-hmm. I'll listen to this shit. <laughs> But that is Gay Agenda with Mac. Huh. Uh, Are you ready for hookup time? Oh, yeah. Uh, cut to me for the, the sponsor I did. Oh, oh, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, my God. That's right. It's me. A hand. The one Michael mostly jerks off with. But maybe he wouldn't so much if he used this. This thing that's sponsoring the ad right now. Michael, you're doing great. Thanks. As you know, we've been talking about muscle for a bit now. We're excited to see how much they've grown in the past few weeks. And guys, that's all because of you. Guys, what we like about muscle, you know, from the feedback you've been giving us, is that there are three unique environments. Again, that's, oh, my head just turned into a three. For those of you listening and not watching this, my head just turned into a three. Three unique environments. And this feature is only found on Muscle. M-U-S-L Muscle. Links in the description below. Because let's say when you're in the mood to chat with other friends, like make an actual genuine connection with just a friend, you launch your friend profile. Oh my God. Paul is coming up and you want a boyfriend, you know, for like apple picking and shit. You need to have flirt and hear all these guys looking for like, you know, like dates, like marriage and shit like that. And when you're in the mood for like a shorter type of relationship, you click fun. And I say relationship because we want ads on these videos, but really we mean you get it. I think they get it. Michael, do they get it? I think, I think they get it. Good. Oh my God, thank God they get it. Again, what I love about it is when you connect with somebody on one profile, they can't see you on the other profile. So the people who you categorize as your friend, Michael, they can't see you on Flirt or Fun. Wow. I know, right? That's fucking crazy. With this auto block, you can be more honest about who you are and about the type of person you're looking to meet. Muscle is a 100% queer owned company. Unlike certain apps that you might be like, that you might know of. Michael, do you know of these apps? Do you know of these apps? I'm, I'm positively sure I don't know what they're talking about. Oh my God, Michael, you're a liar. Go and build your better special connection today and categorize somebody as either friend, flirt, or fun. Links in the description below. Oh my God, my head. Oh my God, back to the... <laughs> Video. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you so much, Muscle, for sponsoring this segment of our podcast. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for yeah. It's, it's Hook Up Time with, with Mike. Mike. Ooh, yeah. When is the EP coming? <laughs> I do want to make a song. I want to make a legit song okay. one day. Imagine That's this. That's on my bucket list. Imagine this. What? You come out with a song. People fuck to it and submit it as Hook Up Time. Full circle, mom. <laughs> Tell me your story if you fucking, fucking to my latest yes! single. <laughs> it, it would be something about bussy. Like, bussy. Think, think, I just got a bob, but like, I just got the bussy. I just got a bob. I just got a bussy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is called uh, Well Suited Dick. Ooh, uh. And I only picked it because there's also a photo attached that we could uh, look at and judge. Okay. Okay. So now enjoy the view of the top of my head if you're watching this on YouTube while I concentrate very hard to read this. Mac, be very expressive with the face. Okay, I will. Just for you. <clears throat> mm. Hi, Mac and Mike. Hi. I'm so bad at writing, so Mike, if it gets so much, Mac, take over. Okay. <laughs> I think they meant to write, if it gets to be too much. If it gets so much, I'll take over. Damn it. Okay. <clears throat> Love the podcast and wanted to share the story. Ooh, uh, Little backstory. I'm a whore. Okay, we all, right. all are. I mean, we all are. I am not anymore, You're and not I'm not anymore. Sad. I want to be. You know what? Let's talk about I've it. I've never had a moment of like whorism. Really? I think the only time I've ever been a whore was like in Australia, and wow. I miss that. <laughs> <laughs> Being a whore was only fun for me when I was on drugs. Okay. Well, and I now can't that relate. I stopped doing I can't drugs. Relate. I know, but now that I stopped doing like drugs, like drug drugs, you know, mm -hmm. now then then when I leave the whoring, I think about it and I feel like, oh, you know, back then I didn't really feel much anything. And my <laughs> mind was just a, like, it was like, you know, when you're alive, it goes beep, 
beep, beep. Mm-hmm. And then when you're dead, it just goes boo, flatlining. Yeah. Yeah, that would be me for a solid four hours on a train ride home from New York City. Oh my god! But anyway, I, I made it work. I should just go to New York by myself and just like be a slut. You no. can. That's what I like about New York no. City. You could go out and be a fucking deviant. You could have a separate name. You could have a separate identity, and no one fucking cares about you to find out who you really are. Yeah, let me try that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let me just go to New York and be like, oh, no, I'm not. I'm not Mac. I'm not Mac, does it? What are you talking about? My name is Cheryl. You know what? I'm Cheryl. <laughs> I bet if you go to the right place, you know, you, right can, you, can, you can fly under the radar. Actually, a circuit party in New York. And just yeah. Call, tell everyone my name is Jerry. I got invited. <laughs> okay. I got I got invited to a party like that. And mm-hmm. I, it sounds like old Michael would have loved it. Mm-hmm. Me now, I, I can't think of anywhere I would rather be less. <laughs> Like, it sounds like full hell to go to a circuit party right now. Circuit party? I got invited to a Halloween one. I want to go. I want to go. I want to go to a circuit party wearing, like, full-ass gear because I have an entire harness set. It's literally called Sluts on Halloween. Let's go. I don't want to. But all my friends are going. What does that say about me? <laughs> I mean, it says you got some fun-ass friends. I'm joking okay now. <laughs> no. I don't know. I'm becoming, like, a shut-in. Ever since I got back from rehab prison in my grandma's basement. Like, I don't want to see anyone or do anything. Am I depressed? No, you're just anxious. Maybe you're waiting for... What? What? Oh. I'll edit that out. Mac? Mac? Edit that out. Mac? (laughs) No, Mac. No, leave it. Mac? No, leave it. Mac? Leave it. Edit that out. Leave it. No, I'm I'm editing it out. Leave it, but... (laughs) All right. Uh, Yeah, (laughs) go... What? Oh. Because the, the rehab <laughs> the rehab facility, yeah. you can't talk maybe, about them maybe, publicly. Maybe you're waiting for the reports to come out and you're just like mentally anxious about mm. that. And because of that, you're like, you don't want to do much. You don't want to offend anybody. You see yes. what people's reactions are going to be to your report. Especially since I was a, a such a terrible person while in rehab. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're afraid to face people right now because you're afraid that they're gonna like their personality is going to change when the report comes out. Yeah, that they will obviously see. Uh, yeah, because the reports are posted on the internet. I don't give a fuck. Internet. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about anybody's opinion of me. I want people to hate me. I don't think you understand. How long have I been talking about wanting to be canceled? So. You know, if rehab was the opportunity for me to really try to get canceled. You'll get canceled. You know, if you even get canceled, we'll still do this podcast. You know, Frenemies was a thing. We'll we'll get even more popular. I want someone. I tweeted this. (laughs) The peak for me, I want everyone to hate me, but still want to eat my ass. That's going to happen. Peak. Okay. Continue the story. (laughs) We kind of forgot. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Little backstory. I'm a whore. Yes. I'm Mike. (laughs) I'm a whore. I just call you a whore. He goes, I'm. Are we trying to fight? No. If you see a random left, no, he's right. Are they right? They're right. They're I don't right know. Now. They haven't identified with their how they identify, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm not anymore, guys. Like we had that full ass conversation yeah. before that one, <laughs> those one two words <laughs> right after that section. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. okay. I'm a whore. I'm Mike without the drugs and fully. <laughs> And I'm fully aware of it. First of all, I have I have horror ten- like I still miss it. Like I look around, mean? I see the people at the gym that I could fuck. Like if I mm-hmm. wanted to, I could go into that fucking locker room and just meh. but I don't. It's like I have a demon cage inside me. I feel like Naruto, I have a nine tailed fox demon, only it's got nine dicks and it wants what? to go insane. The fuck? But I'm caging it inside and I'm holding it together by a straw. <laughs> I'm trying really hard. Yes, I totally relate. The times I go I go to my gym in my apartment that's always empty. I always see myself in a mirror and I'm like, damn, if I can fuck me right now. I sometimes actually think that. Like Really? I I, I, I did like You would babe. fuck yourself? Yes. If you were ever to see yourself yeah. in a distance, you'd be like, I'm gonna fuck, I'd fuck that. Me. Really? Would you fuck you? You'd fuck you. No. Yes, because you would. I know how much it hurts. <laughs> I know how much I wouldn't like it. No, that <laughs> is, no, we're taking that out of I it. I feel bad. No, 
We're taking that out of it. We're, gonna, out we're of gonna, it. gonna pretend that I'm not a crying bottom who runs away okay. screaming. Okay, we're gonna pretend because I saw I did leg day and mm-hmm. I've been getting bigger and I saw my butt and I was like, you know, it's getting... actually homophobic that I don't bottom. <laughs> you know, everybody learns, says get, get that cult bottoming. What is it? Cult anal training kit. There's an cult. anal training. There's kit? anal amp, training kits. Amp amp. amp. Amp, bitch, there's so many anal training kids. I'll teach you. I know that shit. Wait, be careful with how you phrase that. The kids are going to go nuts. <laughs> the Watt pad is going to go on Watt fire. Pad. Remember that one time we tried to read a fan fiction and literally just like couldn't yes. do it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just gave up halfway We had through. Oliver do it. Yeah. <laughs> we couldn't do it. Oh, okay. Um, okay. I have too many. Okay. Um, I'm Mike without the drugs and I'm fully aware of it. I have too many bodies and too many stories. Okay. This was the summer when was about to move to college, so I was trying to get fucked often. Now on to the story. Okay. This is the summer when was. That's, I'm reading it. I know. As they I know you it. are. And I'm done <laughs> trying to make sense part. of it. <laughs> I'm done trying to make sense of it. Okay. <clears throat> One day, I was on Jacked, trying to find Dick. Oh, Jacked? Jacked, mama. That is literally the one. That's that's the one where you actually want to get fucked, like, right then and there, that second. Oh, really? Jacked is so... Aggressive? It's aggressive, and it's also just glitchy, and it's also just full of a bunch of bots, too. But that's the one where you're like, I don't care what you look like. I just want to get my dick off. That's Jacked. Really? Yeah. Oh. It's like worse than Grinder. It's like Grinder on steroids. Apparently, Mikey was telling me there's like a website where people just literally post a picture of their asshole or dick with their location. And people just, just like, come fuck me. Don't even talk. They're just, this is where I am. Come in and fuck me. And I was, was that like, Craigslist? I, no, it was something like Reddit? that. And I was talking. Imagine like still no one fucking you. Imagine. 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 Mac, imagine. Imagine. <laughs> Capricorn imagine all the people. No, imagine sharing them. one asshole. Um, <laughs> no, imagine them not. Imagine having a vacant ass. Vacant, vacant ass. ass. Posting an asshole pic and then no one coming to fuck you. Full of sass with a vacant ass. I'd be depressed for weeks. That should be my tw- your not someone's Twitter bio. Someone make your Twitter hand Twitter ha- Twitter. So make your Twitter handle. <laughs> Someone make your Twitter handle. Full of sass with a vacant ass, with and I will follow vacant you. Vacant ass. Okay. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> um, there was one guy that started texting me I found pretty hot. He was Ooh. tall and nicely dressed. As six foot, anyone taller than me can have my hole. Oh, wow. There's a bug on my laptop. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Whatever. Keep it going. It's I'm a sorry. fly. It is not a fly. I don't know what the fuck that is. It's a fly. <laughs> it's a fly. Are you okay? Whatever. Keep on going. <laughs> Imagine like presses a button and everything shuts off. <laughs> <clears throat> we moved from Jacked to Snapchat to talk more. Uh, we traded nudes and so he had real. a... Yeah, that's how you know it's real. I'm so not even, I don't even have Snapchat anymore. <laughs> uh, we traded nudes and he had a big dick, nine inches. Uh. After a couple hours of messages, we made a plan to have sex at a parking lot. <laughs> that's Jacked. Wait, I'm, we made we made a plan to have sex at a parking lot to car to my bed then the shower. That's that sentence. Parking lot to car to my bed that, then shower. That's the so sentence. They had sex in a parking lot, sex in a car, sex in a bed, and sex in a shower. I guess. Oh, uh, no. That's I'm reading what they. But that's Jack. Jack. Jack is very. I want to get fucked in this playground right now. Let's go. Okay. That's Jack. I mean, sometimes that's hot. <laughs> Uh, it was great. Loved every second of it. After a couple of weeks, he snapped me again. Want to fuck again? I told him I couldn't because of having my sisters at home. Too lazy to... <laughs> to... <laughs> <laughs> having my sisters at home. home. Okay. Too lazy to clean my room. He told... I'm reading it like this from now on because now I'm into it. Okay. He told me we could go somewhere else. So I agreed. We drove to the parking lot. Like before, but it was busy. Oop. So while trying to find a place, he said we could go to his job. It was close. Nobody was there. Okay. No, no, no commas, no revision, just all that runs. Yeah. Okay. I've never fucked at a workplace. So of course I want to. Bitch, then you ain't me. Are they not from? Bitch, then you ain't uh, me. Is English not, not their first language or? I don't know. If it if it's not, then we're being so offensive and I don't care. Because they're in college. And if this is how they're writing in college and <laughs> English is their first language. <laughs> He, I have some they, things to say. I, I, then that, that means I worked so fucking hard for no fucking reason. Yes, <laughs> you did. <laughs> yes, 
Yes, you did. Because when I got to college and I wrote, I wrote my first essay in college, my professor was like, this is like the best essay I've ever seen. I'm like, really? Fuck you. No. Why is every, oh, oh, so everything you do is so good. so great. Everything you do is just so perfect. In high school, I, I was like degraded for my writing and all that stuff. And I, as soon as I go to college, they're like, oh my God, this is such a professional academic essay. I'm like, really? Colleges are dumb. <laughs> You know what was weird? I remember when I went, I went, I, I went to school in the South. Really? Warning. Warning. And I, we wrote a, in my English class, we were like writing essays and the teacher had to teach us like MLA format. Really? In college. Yes. That, that was a thing in my college. In she, we college. Had, she had to like go like over MLA format again. And I was like, we did this in eighth grade. What do you mean? In elementary yeah. school, we learned the sandwich that makes an essay. Like we did this. Yeah, We had to do, we had to do MLA and then we had to do co- um, Chicago Journal. Oh God. In college. That was a new one for you me. You know what I else said? Okay. I did. Talk about Okay. Let's ball. stop talking about school. Damn it. You know? <laughs> Damn it. That, that so episode didn't get views. <laughs> Because it was about school. Because it was about school. Who cares? <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to place you could go to his job. It was close by. Um, I've never fucked at a workplace, so of course I want to. By the way, fucking in a workplace is a lot of fun. Really? I've never done it. Now, on an office desk. I used to fuck a teacher at my college. Yes, you, we've, we've had multiple episodes talking about that. <laughs> <clears throat> we drove and got to a building in a little town like shopping space. He said, stay in the car. I need to turn off the alarm and cameras. After like five minutes, he texted me, come in. I came in and it was a tailor shop for mostly old church people. I was so turned on because I was shocked, horny, and worried my moans could be heard next door. I started (laughs) sucking his dick, choked and crying happily. Choked and crying happily? Happily. Yes. Yes. That should be the new fairy tale the end. Choked and crying Choked happily. And crying happily. <laughs> After he started fucking me on stand in front of mirror, it felt good. I rolled back and stopped. M- <laughs> it felt good. I rolled back and stopped moaning because my body was transcend. Okay. Not transcended. Transcend. Transcend. Read this again. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. I love you for sending this in, but just let us have fun. It felt. It felt good. I rolled all one sentence. It felt good. I rolled back and stopped moaning because I was transcend. Okay. Icon. An icon. <laughs> we literally fucked for five hours and enjoyed every hour. After he come after after he come. After he come. After he come his after second come. time. Okay. After he come his second time. His second time. His second time. He <laughs> I lost my spot. <laughs> After he come his second time, he was tired and ready to go to sleep. Mm-hmm. He told he told me back home and he told me back yes. home. Not took me back home. He told he me He told me back he home. Told me back home all the time. And literally took the biggest nap I ever taken. Anyway, that's it. If you want more, I have one more. I got a threesome on accident and one where I got a law firm. Love y'all. Here's my photo. First of all, he's cute. He's cute. He's cute. He's cute. Uh, first, of all, uh, first of all, I can't pull off. I don't know if we, I don't know if they want us to show that, but no, no, no. <laughs> I can't pull off that blonde hair look. No, I can't do that. You're That's cute. not me. Uh, yeah, no, you're cute. Also, you I mean you can't write for shit, but please send in another. But that was so much fun. You're an icon. You're a legend. <laughs> an icon. You're a legend. Please. You are the moment. Yes. No. Please send us. <laughs> please send us another story. I would love to hear about your threesome. That is amazing. Please, this is all a good fun. Don't think we're actually. T- you know, we're just taking we love a piss you. out it's of all it. Love. Everybody yeah. say love. Everybody say love. Give us a Grammy. <laughs> Imagine we win a Grammy. Imagine. For what? Podcast? Oh, isn't podcasting a grant? No, it's not a Grammy. The fact that we're not, we, we don't even get nominated. Petition Maggie. for podcasting to be a Grammy. If spoken word is a Grammy, we don't even re- win a streaming. We won't even be nominated. But Mac, we have. We're, <laughs> let's let's focus on It'll a be streaming. Like, call me daddy and um. Fuck, call me daddy. Cody Coe's. Cody Coe's is going to go to the Grammy probably all the time. It's probably Cody Coe's podcast. No, they're probably going to do something like NPR. Or some shit, you know? It's the Grammys. No penis riding, homophobic. <laughs> Cancel it. Cancel it. Homophobic. It's over. Uh, wow. And that was Hook Up Time with Mike. Hook Up Time with Mike. So what else is going on? Oh, my sister was just here. Your sister was just here. My sister. Want to talk about that? Yeah, I do. 
because I'm exhausted from it. I think that's why I'm fucking tired. I showed them such a good time. I literally did everything. We did Hollywood. We did West Hollywood. We did Santa Monica. We did Joshua Tree. We did Palm Springs. Okay. I took them out to really nice places to eat in Malibu in oh, uh. Hollywood. We went to the highlight room, and she loved it so much, but then there was an earthquake. Oh, yeah. That happened on what? Saturday? Friday? Saturday. Friday. Friday. Friday happened on Friday. I was Friday. at I was at my stepmom's. Yeah. And I, it happened. I was like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I was on the roof at Highlight Room. I was yeah. at Highlight Room. We were on the we were like, whoa. And she was like, and I was just sitting there going and she goes, What? She was freaking out because she's never felt she's never felt earthquake before. Oh my God. Welcome she, to California. Yeah, so she was like, that just happens? And I was like, yeah. yeah, it just happens. I freaked out a little bit because I was on a I was on a bar stool, and so I was like, it shook a little bit. And well, she so was, was like, freaking oh out, like making it seem like okay, now I because she was like, I was thinking about living out here. Oh my god, now but now that absolutely not. I'm like, it's you guys so have tornadoes, tornadoes now in are fucking are New terrifying. Jersey. Yeah, yeah, you have tornadoes, <laughs> hurricanes, and shit. <laughs> yeah, people always talk about like, oh, I can never live in Earth. Never the Earth. I was like, you live in a place where there's literally a spinning vortex of wind, yep. so powerful it can rip a house off. Of its base. And, yeah. And a, a, the ground shaking a little bit scares you. And she's been saying, she goes, oh, Michael, but that just started. I'm like, Christina, since I've lived in California in five years, that's probably the third earthquake I felt. In the past month, there's been seven tornadoes in New Jersey. <laughs> oh, my God. So, like, let's, let's calm down with judging New Jersey. But, no, they had it. I wanted to show them a good time because this is, like, their first vacation since having a baby. Mm -hmm. And he's starting to, like, walk. Like he really? Has, he's about to start walking. Oh, my God. Cairo stood up on her the own. The fuck is Cairo? For the first time. My niece. <laughs> Can I have an uncle moment, too? Can I have an uncle moment, too? It's not always about... <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even say that with a straight face. <laughs> no. Well, our, our, they're the same age, basically. You're, you're, like, yours is... Old and yours is older. Your, <laughs> your little youngin is older than like a few months older than mine, I yeah. think. But yeah, she just stood up for the first time on her own. They need to meet. And I was there when it happened. And both me and my sister were, <gasps> and we made her freak out. She started crying. <laughs> what if? What if? What if they get together when they're older? What you? If, why are you trying to set that not, up? What if they submit why a hookup time? Why are you time? trying to set why that up? Why did they submit a hookup time? No, I will never read it. They would never do that. What if we got gooped? By the time they're old enough, I don't even know what we'd be doing in the future. We don't be doing this podcast. You don't I'll know. Be, I'll be the new Oprah. <laughs> I will laugh. be. I will be at. Don't well, laugh. Let's let me. I'll make you laugh right now. At how many years? Like it's eighteen years from now. Eighteen. Basically. I have like one hundred sixty-five thousand. Maybe by then I'll have one hundred sixty-seven. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> uh, imagine one day next year. Imagine next year you just like blow up. Honestly, what if you become like, I'll tell you the first thing I'm going to do, dump you and move on. To <laughs> You'll be too busy partying, partying at the Sway house, ah, with, with, the Sway house. With, the, with the Sway boys, whatever they're called. Well, you know what? Watch this. I'm going to start taking TikTok seriously. If mm -hmm. I ever pass you on anything. I'm just gonna You're like. You're going to make it a moment. Mac. You're going to make it a moment. You're gonna have a party. Let me <laughs> tell you. Let me. Really, I'm gonna walk into this apartment one day. There's gonna, gonna be, be like, streamers. Streamers and everything. Streamers. We're gonna, we're gonna have a. We're gonna have like a playlist going in the back um, on the TV of all my shit. <laughs> no, no. The only thing. The only time. Uh, reality TV. That's my realm. If you mm -hmm. ever get on a reality show, I will murder you in your sleep. I got close. No, remember? I know, because you're going to get on a good one. You're going to get on a fucking Netflix show. I'm going to get, well, I'm gonna get, I'm, I'm gonna get on a reality show, and then that season it wins an Emmy. And I'm sitting there, like, on the Emmy stage, like, yeah. oh my. You're, watch, watch you be Watch you be on the first male Housewives. Housewives. Watch. I will what end. Would I, I, what would I do? I don't know. You'd be you. You'd be you. We need to be on something. It's either going to be Nailed It or Amazing Race. I've never even seen an episode of Amazing Race. Me neither. We need to, let's go on both. Let's do, do it. it. Let's do nail it. Let's start I'll applying for shit. It. Come on, we're bookable. Look we're at bookable. us. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, but no. Uh, so back to my sister was here. We went to Joshua Tree, which you and I actually really need to do. Mm -hmm. We actually really need to do that. We would have a lot of fun. Uh, I I didn't do drugs, but I did shrooms. Oh, uh, not drugs. Oh, uh, I don't consider shrooms drugs. Can we talk about it? Do you? I mean, yeah, it's a psychedelic. Uh, I don't 
do so, I mean, maybe. I did look at the move. <laughs> eh, just because you don't feel like it's a drug does not mean it's not a drug. No, it Mike. definitely is. Like the room, the room, the room <laughs> breathes. Yes. The room breathes. Um, I looked at the moon and you know how like when you look at the moon blur, you could see like rays. Yeah. Did it smile at you? No, the rays came at me, touched the floor and created like a stairway to it. Okay, that's it's it's a hallucinogen, like, Mike. That I, is you hallucinating. I was sitting. I'm sitting in the. Here I am. It, I'm sitting in the desert, and I'm looking at the moon. And I'm like, I could just walk up there, but I don't want to. I'm not ready. I don't want to go to space. I, they chose me. <laughs> it was it was like I saw the light at the end of the tunnel, and I was like, no, nope, I don't want to go. Oh my god. But no, Joshua Tree was a lot of fun. You and I definitely need to go one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm afraid of hallucinogens. We we talk about this on the podcast too. I, you don't like really like it's not like you see things like you, mm-hmm. you, I just get like happy it's like I feel like I'm stoned like you feel like a happy high like it's like smoking weed okay maybe you know? what if everyone's faces turned into Whoopi Goldberg for me Hysterical. how would I survive that I, I would just be cracking up at everyone yes. you already know I'll just that's be what it is. laughing at everybody's face that's what it is just like yeah! You'd be like, Mac, are you okay? Dude, I think you'd be hysterical <laughs> like obviously I'm not gonna push it but I feel like if that's like it, it, if you I feel like I'd first like to microdose before I ever do like a full ass, just put a mushroom in my mouth and call it a day. Yeah. I'd rather like eat like a mu- cause they have like mushroom infused ch- chocolates that they like oh, yeah, I legally can, make can sell. You make and tea? so yeah, make a tea or something, make some chocolates, like microdose a little bit and I sit there and see how I feel. But okay. cover your ears. Cover your ears. No. Cover your ears. So guys, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to tell them I'm microdosing him, but I'm going to put so much in there. And I'm just gonna fucking you laugh. You never do that. Yes, I would. You'd be so mad, but I would. No. <laughs> I would. If you know, my Our friendship would be over. We knew each other for five years. If you would actually ever take something from me and think I wouldn't take that opportunity to fuck with you, then you don't know me. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I, I know that's the problem. <laughs> you don't know me. Anyway, you make me a tea. I'll take one sip and be like, "Bitch, I know you." <laughs> <laughs> you do. That's the problem. So drinking. Drinking. <laughs> Let us also say we're going to be talking about our first experiences also with drinking. Uh, I'm not promoting my answers. Okay. Well, you drank earlier than me. My yeah. first time really getting drunk was actually off of Jungle Juice back in my Chapman days. How old were you? I was 18. Okay. I was, I was 14. Wow. Uh, I was four, I was 14. <laughs> I was 14. And, but it was like the first time I got drunk. Well, I didn't really get drunk. We got a bottle of hypnotic, which is like a fucking liquor. It's literally what juice. What is hypnotic? It's like the vibrant blue shit. I've never heard of hypnotic. We were so stupid. It was, it was literally, it's literally like a liqueur. <clears throat> Excuse me. I felt it, that. It literally is like no percent alcohol in that bitch. And we were like rip shots. And I didn't know what being drunk felt like at the time. So mm-hmm. I just, I lied. And I was just like, I'm so wasted. I'm like, so fucked <laughs> I'm up. So I'm like, up. so fucked up, guys. I, I, can't, even, so I can't even handle it right now. Oh my God. And then I just kind of like went with it. And I remember the first time I got drunk, I was like, oh, wow. This is nice. <laughs> it was fun. The first time I got drunk, I got everything became so vignette And I only remember like parts of the night. Vocabulary calm down. <laughs> vignette <laughs> Well, everything became like a vignette. Like, I only remember parts of my night. I just call it vignette. That's not an actual What word. is a vignette? A vignette. Yes. Like a small section of something. Like a small section of your life. A vignette. A paragraph. Sure. Bitch over here saying vignette. It can be a paragraph. If you want it to be. A vignette can be a paragraph. A blip. A vignette can be longer. A blurb. A blurb. A, blurb. a second of her life. Everything was all flashy and all that stuff. And suddenly I was like dragged out and in the car and I was in my dorm. But the first time, the first thing you drank was jungle juice. That's ballsy. It was jungle juice. Yeah. And I didn't know how ballsy it was when I tried it. It tasted like Kool-Aid and I had five cups. Yeah. I don't know how, five? Five, really fast too. Can we talk I, about I've how been we... able to, I've been drinking alcohol like it's water since I started. <laughs> I can't, I don't think I can have a second one of these. You don't think so? No, Mac, when I tell you my, something's fucking wrong with me. I'm not, with how tired I am. Maybe you're just getting older. No. No, no, <laughs> no, I refuse. No, we, no, there has to be like a new Supreme and I'm losing my powers. No, it's me. No, imagine I will destroy. Everyone. Imagine I just become this circuit party slut. <laughs> first of all, first of all, I will not be attacked this whole podcast. Um, no, it's like, I can't, I can barely have like two drinks. I get drunk so fast. 
I black out. I throw up. It's the lesbians next door. Okay. We have lesbians next door. You have lesbians next door. Um, They're banging. They, honestly, they get me <laughs> jealous. Um, no, I can't drink anymore. I'm tired all the time. I'm not even as funny as I used to be. What's going on? You were funny? Yes. I'm not fucking. No, I know. Don't even fucking. Touch okay, me. fine. We're fighting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? What are we talking about? Yeah, we're just getting older. Maybe you need therapy. Go get therapy. No. Maybe you're just getting better. Maybe you're becoming a better person. I don't know. Oh god. What were we talking about? Jungle juice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what were we talking about? You know what? No, in college we used to put C4 in our jungle juice and Everclear. And all that kind of shit. Which that was bad. probably in the jungle juice. It tasted like Kool Aid. I just I was drinking it like it was just Kool Aid. I was like, oh yeah, drinking at the party. Yeah, but five drinks later, I'm like, oh. C four. Oh, is do bad. I have a face? It's bad to put that much caffeine in alcohol, though. I mm-hmm. made a thing about that a warning because that's also why Four Locos got canceled. Yeah. Because the caffeine prevents you from realizing how drunk you're actually getting. So the reason why I found out that fraternity people would put that in there isn't so you could honestly get more fucked up. It's so when girls are drinking it, they don't know how fucked up they're getting until they're blacked out and then you take advantage of them. So I say that as a warning wow. for any girls out there, be careful of drinking the party punch at college, especially if you know that there's C4 in it. Brats are canceled. No, it's just a warning. I think everybody should know that there's things that you should just know. Little little tidbits of help, and mm-hmm. even for anyone out there, you know what I mean. If there's if there's an extra amount of caffeine in the drink, like a vodka, fucking what Red Bull, fine. But pre workout that much shit, like just be careful. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh my god, I'm warning people to be, be better, careful, girls. I'm You're warning- getting older. Oh, it's called being more mature, Mike. Okay, now it's my turn to slut it out. Late gr- got <laughs> men. Girls- Girls, men, girls, hit me up on on girls. hit me up on my WhatsApp on Jack. Isn't that what people on Jack <laughs> on Jack on my line, whatever the fuck? Because he's because he's <laughs> fucking blocked. On, he's he's uh, off grinder. I can't speak. <laughs> I'm going through it. I'm going through it. We gotta get through this podcast. I feel terrible. I uh, maybe I'm sick. <laughs> maybe so we're doing I'm a quiz. Sick. Let's just do the quiz. Let's just do the fucking quiz. Wait, maybe you're real sick. Real real quick. How often did you drink? Stupid question. I know. What I the shouldn't fuck? say that. We're we're friends for a reason. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I mean, you, favorite I, alcohol by choice. I mean, I'm gonna tell you often. I drink. I used to drink a lot more often until I started smoking weed, and now I drink less because weed chills me out more than alcohol Same. ever did in my life. And Same. so, yeah. <laughs> I also think I drink less now because I'm doing. I don't do drugs. <laughs> there you go. It was a lot. There you go. I also don't think I have like as many issues as I used to have. Like I feel like I'm like I'm good. I'm happy. I don't believe that. As you said, I'm good. Your entire face twitched. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, I'm not saying everything's perfect. I'm good. <laughs> but no, I'm good. I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah, I might not be I'm good, but I'm happy. happy. So I'm like drinking less. You're chugging that. Oh, God. Okay. I drink alcohol like it's water. Oh, so do I. It's a problem. So I put it down. Okay. You have a problem. I have a problem. I have a great rehab I can recommend. <laughs> okay, quiz. Give it to me. Real quick. What's your favorite alcohol? My favorite alcohol? Uh, oh, no, I'm not going to say it. It's bougie. What do you mean? No, like, I mean, like, vodka, tequila. Oh, vodka. I'm a vodka bitch. I'm a tequila, I'm a tequila I prefer, girl. I prefer top shelf vodka because you can't feel it that much. Be- Belvedere. But I fucking love Belvedere. No, you do. Belvedere and Grey Goose are my fucking favorite. And then Tito's is my third favorite. Tito's is my choice of vodka. <laughs> if, uh, tequila, I always say you can't go wrong with Casamigos. And that's Casamigos? That. What kind of drunk are you? I am a friendly drunk. When I'm drunk, I compliment a lot of people all the time. When I'm drunk, I just want to be fucking alone. I used to be a horny drunk. Now? I used to be a horny drunk? I cannot get horny when I'm drunk. Oh, I can. Oh, I can. <laughs> I can. I can. I can. Mama. Mama. You can't, but I can. <laughs> okay. Shut up. Mama. I feel, I think I'm actually sick. Like, I'm just noticing. Was this the COVID? No, Should not. I run away? Not COVID, like, nauseous. Like, I feel, I think, you might. You might I think might my, because you're carbon up so much, and your body's just no, like. Whoa. I'm like, <sighs> I've been so tired all day, and I'm like dizzy. If, if I pass out, if I die. Okay. If I die, like, if I ever dropped during a podcast, post it. <laughs> okay, promise me, promise me you'll do that. 
<laughs> yes, just for you. <laughs> just, just, just you passing out. I'm like, yeah. oh. And then the podcast ends right there. Just And at my <laughs> eulogy. <laughs> no explanation. Yeah. Right in the comments. Yeah. I'm in the description. <laughs> we don't even say shit. <laughs> you just fainted. Yeah. And next, and week, ends. next week, you're back with AMP. <laughs> Not even mentioning what the fuck happened. Everyone's like, is Mike okay? <laughs> <laughs> he went back to his grandmother's basement. He had to go back to friends, you guys. This time he's not coming back. Okay, uh, for this one, there's a hundred questions, so just I'm just gonna skip around and ask you like a. Go ahead. Ones. I don't know if it does it show the answer. We already have like forty minutes of this recorded. Holy <laughs> shit! Yeah, just take our time. Okay, because I'm gonna be fast because I don't. I'm, I'm probably not gonna know any of these because there's no it's, answers. There's no answers. Oh, there is. Okay. 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 So this is basically just like an alcohol quiz. Yes. I, but it's also history. It's not like stuff I would genuinely, gen, generally know. I think it's like trivia. Mm-hmm. So let's see how, how much of a fake ass bitch I am. I'm not going to know any of these, but mm-hmm. go. These are like, you got to be like, what are they called? Sommelier? Whatever the people that are like. So, Somalia. So, so, yeah, Somalia. So, so into alcohol that they know like everything from it. Bitch watch. Um, from which drink did rapper Cardi B take her stage name? Bacardi. Yes. Mama? That's an easy one. Um, France has champagne and Italy has Prosecco. Yes. But what is a traditional Spanish sparkling wine called? I told you that one was the easiest one I could find on this list. Uh, s- sparkling wine. Yes, a Spanish sparkling wine. Okay, so there's Prosecco, there's champagne. That I didn't Prosecco know. Prosecco and champagne. Spanish sparkling wine is called? Orchata. No. <laughs> the fucking cinnamon. Stuff. I do not condone the words that come out of Mike's mouth. I Horchata? What? <laughs> Saba. Saba? C A V A. Bitch. Or Kaba. I don't know. How to Who the fuck ever it. heard of her? Who would play her? Oh, no. <laughs> Who would play her? Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> which popular spirit is distilled from the agave cactus? Tequila. CC uh, or mm. Mezcal. Yes. Which berry is used to make gin? You know, wait, well, first, go back. Mezcal is basically very similar to tequila. It's just aged in a smoky barrel. Yes, and also because you're only allowed to call tequila tequila if it's grown in a certain part of the world. Yeah. Honestly, also, Jose Cuervo should not be called tequila because it's mostly not tequila. It's like additives. Just saying. T gauntlet thrown down. <laughs> I'll fight Jose Cuervo. <laughs> Jose. That's why it sucks. That's why it tastes so bad and it makes you feel like shit. Anyway, keep going. Which berry is used to make gin? A potato. That's not a berry. <laughs> Prove it. Prove to me that that's not a fucking berry. Juniper. What? <laughs> Juniper berry is used to make gin. Duh. Everyone knows this. Did you, know that, did you know that gin was the first flavored vodka? That's how gin was that came about. Maybe, it was, really? It was, it was marketed as the first flavored f- libation. A beat is flew into my, like a fly just flew past my ear. I got scared. <laughs> I thought I thought you I thought you mistook libation for labia, and that's what scared you because <laughs> gay. Okay, gay. shut up. What are the two main ingredients of a snake bite? Oh, oh, it's a beer and something, correct? Yes, it's a. It's a it's a ale, apple ale, and sure. whiskey, I think, like a cinnamon whiskey. It's cider and Lager? Cider and Jaeger. Cider and Jaeger! Jaeger? It's I L- thought it was a cinnamon Jaeger whiskey. is spelled with an L? It's L-A-G-E-R. Lager. Lager. What's lager? Lager is a type of beer. Oh, so it's two beers? It's two beers. So it's a cider and a, and a lager. So did you get that right? No. <laughs> I said a cinnamon <laughs> I got the, I knew, I knew the apple, I knew the, I knew the ale, I knew the apple ale, because I think it was an apple ale, right? Is it ale? Did you say ale? Ale is also beer. No, cider. Cider is, so it's apple cider, and I thought it was whiskey with that, but it's lager. So it's, there's two beers together. Sorry. Sorry. Oopsie whoopsie. I made a fucky wucky. Which toolbox item gives its name to a cocktail of vodka and orange juice? Screwdriver. Which country is home to the rice wine sake? Oh, Japan. Yes. Okay. These are easy. I love this. If we we gotta go to Japan. We gotta I do want to go. I have to go to Japan with another person because I can't go to Japan by myself. Being okay. a big black man in the middle of Japan, okay. will be a, I'll be a big ass eyesore. So here's the thing. <laughs> 
<laughs> we both we both officially by the way spoiler alert we both officially have business businesses mm-hmm. we're both owners of businesses i'm an llc are you an llc or s corp i'm an s corp we have business cards and that's uh, that flight and the hotels are tax write-offs boom bitch See, why aren't we there it took me like eight months to figure out how to fuck my business card worked because it doesn't work for some amazon purchase or, uh, let's not get into this oh. <laughs> Next question. We should do a whole Next business question. cast. <laughs> no, we need to no. do a business cast. No, you saw what no. happened in the school cast. I'm gonna watch that <laughs> shit while we watch business. Okay. okay. Um, which grape is most produced? Which grape is the most produced wine in Argentina? Which grape? Like what? Like red or white? No type. Like which brand of wine? Like a Merlot. Uh, Sangria. Syrah. Sangria. No, Malbec. Oh. Sangria is not even the type of wine. It's a good drink. Anyway, fuck off. Um, Malbec? I thought that was Australian. Which drink is often described as having body, legs, and a nose, and could also be flabby or fleshy? What the fuck? Whiskey. Wine. Fuck. <laughs> What sort of vessel did England cricketer Andrew Flintoff infamously fall off after a drinking spree in the Caribbean in 2007? Fuck her right in the pussy. <laughs> fuck her right in the pussy. A, 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 pe- a pedalo, whatever the fuck what? that is. The I don't fuck? fucking know these questions. They're getting harder and harder more go down. Keep uh, going. Um, name that cocktail. Okay. Okay. Tequila, lime, juice, salt. Margarita. Yes. Juice? It doesn't say just juice. It just says juice. Lime juice. Tequila, lime. <laughs> tequila, lime. Tequila, lime, juice, salt. That's but, not a margarita, first of all. You're missing agave or a triple sec or some kind of sweet. Agave is in tequila. No, it's... Okay, Mac. It's made of an agave plant, but... According to this site... <laughs> <laughs> the ingredients to tequila are, and I repeat, tequila. The green is tequila. The green is to margarita are tequila, lime juice, and salt. Shut up. That's not it. Shut up. They That's know, just a they're, normal they're tequila better shot with lime. Than you. <laughs> so pissed off. Um, vodka, espresso, coffee liqueur, and sugar syrup. Uh, espresso martini. Yes, but that's not how you make. It. Okay, according to this site. <laughs> You're wrong. Okay? <laughs> okay. How about this one? Vodka, peach schnapps, orange juice, cranberry juice. Sex on the beach. Yes. Is that how yes. you make it? Yes. That is how okay. You make it. <laughs> Even though you want to know something funny, what? at the Abbey, I never made it like that. I always used pineapple juice and I learned that I was doing it wrong for years. Oh <laughs> my God. My. Like, here's the thing. Here's to prove my point. No one fucking notices. No one notices. Because if you give the people, anyone who's ordering a sex on the beach, First of all, at a bar. As long as you taste the peach schnapps. I think that's if, the only important part. If I give you something sweet and pink, you're not going to fucking ask yeah, me a no. question. Yeah. You're not going to fucking ask me shit. Take the drink and go. Okay, give me a this? dollar. <laughs> Gin, lemon juice, <laughs> sugar, fizzy water. Gin. Sorry, I'm dyslexic. Gin, lemon juice, sugar, fizzy water. Tom Collins. Yes. I've never heard of fucking this. Yes. <laughs> What the fuck is that? Tom Mac, Collins. I am a world-renowned, I wanna go, I globally wanna... disgraced celebrity bartender. <laughs> Are you forgetting that I have accolades? <laughs> you were fired by the one on the low end. Um, That's not what made me. me. I want to I go to a bar now and just be like, um, first one, of all, I was one time. God, first of all, please. First of all, let it um, let let something be known. Hi, I, I was night. being called to bartend celebrity parties before Lindsay Lohan even fucking came knocking. Hi. First of all, hi, can I have a Tom Collins, please? It's like the most basic drink. Is it? Oh, it's I've like never a never fucking. It's heard like of going it. up to someone and going, "Can I have like a gin and soda with lime?" Work. Okay, shut up. <laughs> Can I have a time, Colin? It's also like you—you you can you, for you. You know what your drink would be called because you get vodka soda with, with cranberry. You know what, what that's called? A rose Kennedy. A rose Kennedy. A rose Kennedy. <laughs> a rose Kennedy. Hi, I'm coming here from business. Can I please a rose have a rose Kennedy? Kennedy? Thank you. <laughs> I on a yacht. <laughs> um, 
true or false alcoholic quiz questions. Number ended give here. Give it to me, Mama. Give me, give it to yeah, me, we'll Mama. Yeah, we'll end it here. Okay. I'm good. I think I'm doing well. We'll give you a few, and then we'll end it here. Okay. True or false? It is illegal to give alcohol to moose in Alaska. True. Moose are aggressive. You don't want to get them fucked up. True. Yes. That's such a weird law. Um, <laughs> I didn't even blink. Watch. I'm going to go real fast. I'm not even going to think. True or false? If you leave milk out of the fridge too long, it turns to alcohol. False. Yes. It just gets hard and gross. True or false? Kim Jong-un employs hundreds of people to crush grapes with their feet for his personal wine. True. Because he seems like the kind of bitch who false. would do that. Fuck. <laughs> he seems like the kind of bitch who would do he that. Does. He does. He does. I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> bitch. What the fuck? You would. I would do that. And then you'd spit it back at them. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> True or false, the national anthem of the United States of America was written to the tune of a drinking song. False. True. Fuck. What? <laughs> What's the song? What's the drinking song? I don't song? fucking know. Fuck, I want to know it now. True or false, in ancient Babylon, watering down beer was punishable by death. True. What number is that? Five? Yes, true. See? I knew the ancient Babylonians had this shit right. <laughs> I would me. True or false? Life. Until 2011, alcoholic drinks that were less than 10% ABV were not counted as alcohol in Russia. F- uh, no, true. Good. True. Russia seems like them kind of Russia bitches. Russia seems like them <laughs> bitches. Them seems like them kind of bitches. <laughs> Russia don't fuck. Uh, Russia doesn't fuck. Russia doesn't fuck. They don't fuck around. They don't. No, they don't fuck. What do you mean? They're all so pissed. I don't believe they fuck. They're just drunk. They don't fuck. Russia's like also the only country that America is like visibly afraid of. Yes. <laughs> if you ever noticed that. Which doesn't it's, make it's sense. It's the country where we we don't, whenever Russia does something, we're always like, uh, well, <laughs> uh, we would help you, but that's but, Russia. <laughs> but I feel like we would, we should all be afraid of China. Yeah. Russia and China. I mean, there's a big, I mean, what my dad does for work. There's a big situation happening with Russia and China. But <laughs> if there's no, ever a zombie apocalypse, me. I'm coming with you because I know your dad has some kind of bunker shit. That's up. some shit. You know, my dad's prepared. My dad's I'm... ready. He's not telling us shit. <laughs> okay. True or false. It takes an average of 60 grapes to produce a bottle of wine. True. True. And last one. True or false. The freezing point of vodka is negative 27 degrees Celsius. False. True. Fuck. I thought it was colder than that. <laughs> I thought it was colder than that. Oh, I thought they were for number nine. Did you say it takes an average of sixty grapes to produce a bottle of wine? Did you say true or false? Is it true? It's false. Fuck! I was <laughs> damn it! You couldn't just let me have it. You I was just scrolling let me too live. fast. I was scrolling too fast. We're gonna be find you, Mike. Okay, fuck me. Uh, you can find me anywhere if you go fuck yourself. We're gonna be find you, Mac. You can find me anywhere if you search Mac Does It. That is S A L T E D. And shout out to the person in front of the screen right now in front of me. You did that shit. Congratulations, <laughs> bitch. And you can find this podcast anywhere if you search Magic Pods. You mean that's Y P O D. You can also find um, TikToks of this podcast on Mike's um, TikTok. And if Mac like ever MGTV, feels, if Mac ever wants them, and I will find that <laughs> password because I keep on forgetting it until we do. Or it. you know, you could also post them on your TikTok. True, true, but I won't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we also email us anywhere at MaxPod at gmail.com your hookups your gay agendas your what the fuck floridas please send me what the fuck floridas please send me articles you find and please send me stories you have in florida it'll be great to read those out loud um and also that's it right you've been doing what the fuck just happened we're running out of time bye (laughs) that's why that's what the fuck happened bye (laughs) bye